There's a solar eclipse happening today, and I'm going to try to photograph it. But before I do, there are a few things that we need to talk about first. So, what I'm going to be using is my Sony a7 III and my Sony 70-200. Now, in order to get the full sun really huge in the picture, it's generally recommended to use a bit longer of a lens than this, but this is all I got, so this is what we're going to be using. Thankfully, on the a7 III, it's got an APS-C mode, so I can crop in just a little bit and get more of a 300 millimeter out of this. Now, staring at the sun is generally not a very safe thing to do, so we'll need to protect both our eyes and our camera. So in order to protect my eyes, I'm going to be using these solar glasses, and in order to protect my camera, I'm going to be using these ND filters. Now, the general consensus that I've found online from folks who have photographed eclipses in the past is about 16 and a half stops of ND or a solar filter, which I don't have either of those. So we're going to be using two nine stop ND filters on top of each other. And I figured that that should get us through it. Now, as a disclaimer, please do this safely if you do it and do it at your own risk. It is not worth damaging your camera and it is especially not worth damaging your eyes. So if you do it, please do so safely. If you've ever taken a magnifying glass and held it up to the sun, you'll know that it concentrates the light into a beam and burns a hole into whatever you're pointing it at if you hold it there for long enough. Well, lenses will function the exact same way and burn a hole right through your sensor. So you can see now I am holding the lens right up to the sun and you can see this little dot right here. That's what it'll do to your sensor. So I don't wanna hold that there for too long because I don't wanna burn a hole in my hand. So this is how the sun looks right now. It's about 10.45 in the morning and the eclipse is supposed to start around 2 p.m. Here's a photo that I took yesterday afternoon. It was a day pretty much like today, bright, clear, and sunny. And I'll put my settings up on the screen as well so you can see what I did. And this is how the sun looks on a normal day. As far as where I will be photographing this from, I unfortunately will not be in this path of totality right here. This is from NASA's website. So I will be slightly off to the side over here in West Virginia. So I think we're supposed to get around 90 some percent coverage, which won't be quite as cool as 100%, but it'll be still pretty cool. So now all I guess that's left to do is wait. Okay, so it is a little past one and the weather has taken quite the turn. It has turned very, very cloudy out here, and if these clouds don't go away, then we are not really going to be seeing anything at all. So let's hope that they go away. Okay, so it is 1.54. The eclipse should be starting any minute now, and thankfully the clouds have cleared up a little bit, so now it is only partially cloudy. Um, but real quick, one thing that I discovered about these filters yesterday when I was taking a test shot is that neither of them have a front thread on them, meaning that I can't screw them onto each other. So what I've had to do is just rubber band them together. So I would really recommend you to not do this. Don't try this yourself, but this is what we're going to have to work with today. So should be starting any minute. Hopefully we can see it from here. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to back up. Yeah, this tripod can't really lean back far enough, can it? We're just gonna have to hold it ourselves. Let's see, can we find it? There it is. All right, you guys, here's our first shot. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, so we just took our first shot and it is awesome. This is so cool already. It's really hard hand holding this at 300 millimeters. It's not ideal, but the tripod can't quite lean back far enough to see straight up basically. But uh, yeah, I think the eclipse is supposed to last about two hours or so. So we've got plenty of time to hang out and take as many shots as we want. So 
So the sun is going in and out of the clouds right now, so I'm kind of just taking breaks in between and trying to minimize the amount of exposure to my camera and to my eyes. These glasses are definitely making a huge difference, so I'd not be able to watch this without these glasses. But yeah, this is super cool. Very, very cool to watch. So we are about 20 minutes away from the peak of the eclipse. And right now it's behind a cloud, of course. Hopefully it goes away. But uh, it has definitely gotten significantly darker out here. Um, I'm sure that's probably partially because of the cloud, but it's gotten significantly darker. And also the temperature has dropped noticeably. Like it was getting pretty warm out here actually whenever the sun was out and there were not as many clouds, but the temperature has dropped pretty dramatically here in the last couple minutes. Um, so hopefully the clouds will go away and we'll be able to see the peak so the sun's starting to come back out again, and it's gotten really, really dark. So I'm going to try something that might not work very well. I've had my ISO at about 800 this whole time, so now I'm going to crank it up as high as I can get it. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. It is 309 and I think this is about as covered as it's gonna get and it's kind of eerie honestly it's a little bit eerie <laughs> it's cool it's gone behind a cloud again but uh, it looks like daytime but nighttime at the same time pretty cool Well, I think that's going to be about it for the eclipse. It looks like it's kind of going away now, but thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and hopefully the photos turn out well, and uh, be, be excited to see them. So thanks for hanging out.